Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the 44 Podcast. Today, we have a very big episode with Cedric today, um, agency owner. Uh, at least you were out in Dubai, sort of just met up for the first time like five minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This all came from an Instagram DM. But yeah, um, do you want to sort of like talk us through what it is that you do, who you are, all of that? Yeah, so very great to be here, guys. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. Thanks and um, to quickly introduce me, I'm Cedric. I, have, uh, I am 23 years old and I have an agency who... Uh, help infopreneur corporate business to have a YouTube channel to grow uh, organically. Amazing. Oh. Amazing. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing this, I've been doing this since like one, pon, one and a half year ago. Mm. Uh, but before that, I was like an editor, like I edit video for infopreneur. Yeah. And then when I stopped my school and stopped my job, I just gave, um, I just go like deeply into marketing agency to help uh, infopreneur. Mm -hmm. And now we are like open the door to corporate business and things like this. I feel like that's where like the big money is at, right? Yeah, now. yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> you can tell you know, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, so what, what sort of like stuff are you doing on the day-to-day -day really with this business? Yeah, day-to-day. -day. So basically now I have the um, cask of the CEO. Mm. Like I, um, you know, manage all the team. We have like 20 person in the agency. So we have like, I think... 10 or 12 editor, we have like five filmmaker, we have a community manager, we have um, SEO specialists, we have a graphist, wow. so we have a um, project manager, we yeah. have um, one um, artistic director mm. and one um, production director. Amazing. So yeah, it's pretty like 20, 23 people. So yeah, it's just like manage all these people, find a true hub player to be in this agency. And, um, you know, work on the new market that we are going to target, like yeah. corporate business, uh, like startup. And I don't say it, but I'm only on the French market mm. for, um, for this time. And yeah, you know, it's like um, a lot of copywriting, write VSL, write um, DM, like because we do outbound marketing. So yeah, actually it's that. So, so are you pretty much, so it's kind of, obviously you manage the YouTube. And so, like you, you do like the videos and all that. You edit them, like for the, obviously these these YouTubers and yeah. these info, info entrepreneurs, or whatever. Um, and then, so you pretty much do more on the back end, right, for them as well. So you obviously you said DMs. Is that is that how you? Yeah, no. It's a, this is for the acquisition acquisition okay, for okay. Yeah, agency. This is how you get them. But um, you know, I don't talk about all the delivery of my um, product yeah, yeah, of my yeah. service because I don't do it anymore. Yeah, it's all my um, my uh, people in my team. So who it's work with us, like. Um, basically, it's just infopreneurs who have a YouTube channel and mm -hmm. they don't want to do it anymore because they don't have time. They just want to focus on, um, you know, uh, build a big uh, business. So what we do, it's like we create all the strategy. We do like a benchmark with uh, all the competitor, uh, what concept can we do, everything like this. And after we like produce the video because we have like... Um, big production stuff to do big uh, big uh, production uh, video and we can do pretty everything uh, in video like uh, documentary mm. like big vlog like the best vlog in frank in france it's made by us i don't know if you know um, you are in dropshipping right yeah so do you know yomi denzel yeah 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 we like since two years all this video is us really, oh, really? yeah That's wow he's, he's like, huge as well yeah he's really huge and um so yeah, we, we know how it's work, YouTube, we know how to do big production video. So we do that. And after we do like a new branding of the channel, like very unique branding, personalized um, video editing, like, um, you know, all the text on the yeah. video, thing like this. You We do a natural introduction, ultra introduction, thing like this. Amazing. And um, after we manage the channel, like we do all the SEO, we do all the thumbnail, so, so just kind of get them to like, like obviously Level go a bit viral or, or get more views, yeah, right? Exactly, exactly. Mm. And um, so it's like a YouTube channel will run automatically and send you like customer all the months. What's free. like? Uh, what's the creative process is like? Like, could you take us through how a, a video goes from like zero to actually uploaded? Do you guys like um, think of the ideas or is it? Yo, guys, boys and girls, what do we have for you today? 
Oh my God, you, you're not going to... We had that. some sauce. Some absolute sauce. So if you're looking for a competitive advantage in mm. 2022, this is, this is it right here. This is it. This, this is, is it, it, honestly. And, you know, basically what it provides you guys is agency accounts for Facebook, Snapchat, Google, TikTok. The list oh goes on. The list goes on, all right? Now, this whole podcast, all the podcasts filmed in Dubai, you know, all these ones which you've been seeing posted, we're getting consistent now, come on. Um, these are all being brought to you by Viera, Walia Capital. This is actually a capital agency account sort of firm that we've partnered up with. Um, pretty much now we're offering you guys completely free agency accounts, which actually now they pay you to advertise. So you're getting like a small like cashback fee, which is kind of a bit of a no-brainer. Yeah. Um, especially if you're in from the UK, because if you're running TikTok ads anyway, there's a 20% back fee, which is axed off with this. So yeah, I mean, I'm just going to stop speaking yeah. now, but pretty much... Um, yeah, that, that, that's what we can offer you guys. Um, to actually get this sort of agency accounts, the links are down below in the description. You need to join the joint Discord that we have with Vieira. It's called Vieira44. Go ahead and join it in the description. All the links are there. Very easy. You can sign up. It'll all be done. And yeah, this is your competitive advantage, guys. This is how you can sort of get dropshipping to work in 2022 because, you know, especially with Facebook as well. I don't know if you guys know, oh, but God. there's a lot of bans. He's However, he, he is. To be yeah. fair. He actually is. Um, sorry, Mark. <laughs> um, but pretty much, yeah, guys, literally just get these agency accounts to be able to advertise with a hell of a lot less problems, to be honest with you. Um, I literally use these accounts myself. So do I. Yeah. Um, made a lot of new with them. I'm sure that you guys would as well. So yeah, pretty much check the links in the description. Go ahead and join the Discord. Go ahead and literally sign up all these agency accounts and then yeah, you're good. But yeah, I'm going to let you guys get back to the podcast now. Uh, back to the source, all of that. But yeah, enjoy. Yep. Info problem. Yep. So um, it depends um about the customer but some customer we just send us like subject like um we do a seo research we do um, yeah. um like um we analyze all the markets and we send us every once every month like 10 to 15 subjects they do it by, by themselves or we go in his house and we uh, shoot everything and after that it, after that it goes in the it goes in the editing process and after we upload it and some customer we do all the scripts like we have copywriter who write everything they just sit here they uh, mm. like read and it's good and like <laughs> in four hour by mo per, per month you have a youtube channel run automatically wow Damn. you just need to sit read and it's good <laughs> it must just be like a machine for your clients really yeah yeah, yeah. like we you know, they, um, I don't know how to say, say in English, mm -hmm. um, like before, before they take our services, yeah. they took like, I think one week per month to do all the YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. And now it's like less than one day. That's crazy. Cause you guys and, just do everything. And they have more results. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's huge. So like, how does it even work with this type of stuff? Is it? every video they pay or is it kind of a retainer? No, it's like, uh, you know, your mobile phone. Yeah. It's like um, a subscription by mm. per month and it's a fix and uh, they just pay that. Damn. Does it sort of like range, like the retainer, right? Yeah, yeah. it's between uh, like uh, 3.5K to uh, 20K. Yeah, nice. <laughs> it depends on what we well put. Clients. Yeah, it yeah, depends yeah. on what we put in the, um, in the package. Amazing. How did you actually like get into this agency? Man, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like um, in school, I was in like marketing and commerce thing like this. Uh, but I, you know, I was editing video for a motivational channel about bodybuilding because oh, I was really? uh, yeah I was like passionate about bodybuilding like five years ago because mm. now it's not <laughs> it's not anymore. But um, I just edit video for um, to make a motivational video. And um, I was in a Facebook group and someone put a message. Yeah, I, I, want, I need an editor for my channel. Oh. And I sent a message. Yeah. He said, yeah, let's go. And I... First client. Yeah, first client. <laughs> I was in, um, in school. I have a job and I have this uh, yeah. activity. So it was like, yes, like uh, three, four years ago. Amazing. And um, so I began to edit video. I was pretty a beginner. So day after day, month after month, I increase my my um, my capacities. Yeah. And um, after uh, I see a market, I see potential, so I say, "Fuck the fuck school, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck my job, and let's go." Uh, because when I um, stopped my um, my work, I was like a manager in yeah. a big um, 
a sports brand and um, I, I was making like 800 euro per month with my um, with my activities like uh, editor yeah mm. and I say fuck like yeah. I was winning more with my uh, job than with my activities but it's like you you actually enjoyed one yeah or you actually preferred one yeah, yeah. Like that's and kind I, of the road to freedom it's been like four years I saw video on YouTube by, about entrepreneur about yeah. business and I was yeah so it's not now never i'm gonna do it well one thing that i want to know is like actual like obviously we touched on like client acquisition but like how the hell are you getting all these clients you know what i mean like what sort yeah. of processes do you have in place to sort of get these like big clients man it's been like 1.5 years that um, i do it like very seriously mm. and i never run acquisition stuff really it's, it's only months to years is it that that's yeah, yeah, like, 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 what you're saying yeah, yeah only yeah. referrals and like we have tons and tons of referral because we wow. do very high quality video and very good management about a uh, YouTube channel. And like every month we had like four, five, six clients and mm. we are like, stop, we, we are, <laughs> we are three. <laughs> please so, no. <laughs> yeah, please no. And like every month I need to hire like two, three, four people. And like, I make mistake with this hire because mm. it was the first time I heard people and sometimes they were pretty shit, yeah. sometimes very good people. But yeah, so we had like, um, you know, some client wasn't satisfied because yeah. uh, we were, there was two more job. Uh, there was, um, how can I say in English? Scale, scale too fast, you know? Like, yeah, we're scaling too fast and we, are, we weren't ready to do it. Mm. So yeah. Like since the beginning of 2022, uh, it was like this. And now we have a pretty good team. They are very good. Like every people are enjoying his job. So now we are a big team. Mm -hmm. And now I started to run acquisition stuff. So I made like ads. I made outbound marketing and inbound marketing. Right. Oh, that's cool. I mean, like, where do you see your agency in? The next 12 months next 12 months yeah. i don't say it but we uh develop our own crm so um, like um it's like the amazon of the video you know you have um, a yeah. um, uh, part for the customer mm -hmm. they see the video they see like the progress they have like um in um in the um in the member space they have like her video their video in inside and they can like had comment on the video with this uh with this process uh, we have like a part for editor um and we like create um um i don't know how to tell in english but it's like you know a video game yeah and more they edit video more they win level and more they win, like, uh, you know, a trip to Dubai or, mm. you know, a big computer, thing like, like this. like bonuses. Yeah, bonuses. So, um, yeah, it's pretty good management uh, for um, for the team. And we have, like, the admin uh, part where we can see all the editor, all the customer, all yeah. the video to edit, thing like this. So, just so, be, like, leaning down then, I guess, like, making your systems more... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, more, um, like, it's... First of all, it was for our team, you know, for the management. Yeah. Yeah, they are very, very more motivated with this system. And to uh, answer to your question, like in 12 months, we want to put this CRM in like white uh, label and sell it to other agency uh, yeah. who want to manage uh, right. her team right, 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 right. with this system. And um, we just want to scale to for uh, the startup market, like help a big startup to create a big brand on YouTube and um, yeah. Amazing. So like, so you're living in a buy now, right? Yep. Okay. How, how does it work? Like, like with the, the team, are they, are they all based in, in France and then you pretty much like Zoom? Yeah. It's uh, every remote, like yeah. uh, everybody is remote. We just have like the big core, the big um, management guys here in Dubai. So um, here there are me and CEO, they are um, like um, the artistic director, yeah. the production director. And like since one week, we have our project manager and our community manager who's here, but they are just here for vacation. But like a few times a year, we just do a meeting in France, in France with everyone, mm. just to know each other, you know, just chill. Where, where did you even like find these like team members? Because I feel like 
the hiring process and like yeah. actually getting this this good team that's actually good you know what i mean all of that that's probably yeah. one of the most difficult parts so you know i have a very good coach in france business coach mm. and he's so he said to me a very good um, advice that you need to be like the person you hire and to know where he is. Like if now I need editor, I don't go on LinkedIn or like this. I go on Discord group, Discord group mm. and I go on um, a video games group. And here I can find the best editor uh in the planet that's good and here you you don't have to sell like the job you have to sell your vision and why do they why do they need to go with me and why did they will win in like money um happiness and freedom mm. so it's the three i think big points and like when you write your um announce or thing like this it's very very high copywriting that you need to do yeah to um sell your your uh, your company and after it's uh, like a very good process like meetings we i have three meetings with the guys before i test him mm. so um, yeah it's yeah. like a very big big um um recruitment uh, process but after that, you only have a, a player in your team. Yeah. And like, you are really trustful with your team. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. I feel like, I mean, I've never obviously done the whole thing of hiring like a crazy big team, but that is kind of how you take them next steps to hit like them multi six figure months. Yeah. You know, even reaching the seven, you know, and I guess now you're sort of sitting back, taking the role of the leader, like the CEO, mm -hmm. sort of managing the team. Um, what is like your routine like here? There are no routines. Yeah. Like, <laughs> not in Dubai. <laughs> like in Dubai, yeah, or in Dubai or in other city. But I don't have like, um, um, I don't know how you tell in English, like the ringing uh, time uh, when you woke up. Like an alarm. Yeah, yeah. an alarm. Yeah. You don't have an alarm. That's, that's, that's the beauty yeah. of entrepreneurship, no <laughs> alarm. That's I wake up when I want <laughs> and then I just have some meetings. Like every Monday, it's uh, the meeting day. So we have, we have all the team. And uh, now my like my day to day uh, work is like vision. So put new process uh, in the agency, um, do all the acquisition uh, stuff to, uh, you know, because like when you close a corporate business or start a business, it's like huge, mm -hmm. like you need to be good in negotiation. Thing like yeah, that. Yeah. So, you know, it's prepare all this uh, meeting to be sure to um, sign this customer. And um, yeah, work on the acquisition system with Outbound and um, yeah, I mean, just uh, develop yeah. the vision. Are you, are you planning on moving into any other markets like, uh, like UK, US, or are you just um, focusing on France? For the moment, I think I'm going to focus on France because um, there are so much thing to do on the French market before yeah. go on other markets. And I think if we're like, if we are like the pretty good agency on the French market is going to be very easy to put it in the English market because it's just the language will change. The process is the same. Yeah, yeah I, th I think like France is definitely like a really big emerging market. For, like this whole, I mean, at least 100% of drop shipping in terms yeah. of like, like mm. people who like selling like, you know, uh, info products. Also, I know for like agency, all of that. Um, I don't know why I always just feel like the whole space that I'm in is just UK, US. Like I always forget about like France, Germany, yeah. all that. But like, I, I don't know, like is, is the whole like online business thing, like is that like very big there? Is it just like, yeah. you say it's like as big as like UK, US? I don't think it's as big as UK, US, but you have a lot of infopreneur on the mm. market. Um, I think like 70% of the market know us, like infopreneur markets. And now we are looking for the 30% who don't know us. Yeah. Uh, but you know, like all the huge, uh, entrepreneur in this space uh, know us because like it's a big market but it's a small market mm. like yeah. everyone know each other yeah so when someone work with someone it's go very fast so I think it's why we get like a lot of referral and we get a lot of clients but also the market is like burn and so it's why we go on the corporate market now yeah um, but yeah it's pretty huge mar uh, market I don't know how many infopreneur there are in the French market, but there are, there are things to do. I um even when I moved to like my first like apartment building in London, 
there was like three or four different like French people who do like e-commerce okay. and, and have like info products as well. Yeah, yeah. I was like, damn, it's like so many French people in e-com. <laughs> like it's crazy. What's her name? Uh, there was someone called Sarah. Sarah, yeah. I you know, know, you know Sarah. Someone called um Kevin. Kevin, you you know the last Kevin name? Kevin Sozi, I believe. Ah, uh, I did. I already heard about him. <laughs> this is crazy, yeah. yeah. And then, um, yeah, I mean, there was a few others, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's yeah. And because funny. I lived in London six months, so oh, I really? know some people here. Yeah. Oh no way! No, way. I remember. Yeah, and there's um, um, yeah. I mean, there's just there was just a few. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just found it funny because it just seemed like pretty much all the French people in the building do like e-com and like yeah. drop shipping. Yeah. And I feel like even in general, even in the UK, there's not many people who do drop shipping. But do you know why all these people go to London? Because the biggest entrepreneur in e-commerce, Yomi, yeah. was in London. Yeah, so. <laughs> okay, so sort of following the footsteps. Yeah. yeah. And now he's Dubai, so everybody <laughs> who goes here. I mean, yeah. like, one thing that we've we've touched up on, uh, upon, like, uh, in a lot of these podcasts in Dubai is, like, how Dubai has actually, like, changed your mindset. Yeah. Like, how has it changed your mindset in, in comparison to, like, being back at home in France? Mm. So I think I'm not going to be a good... Uh, speaker about Dubai because <laughs> like I'm okay with Dubai but it's not the best place for me to live um, and I think I because I was in Dubai like few times before I lived in um, but you know it's not for like the place I go here it's, it's more for all the people who's here yeah because all who partner who customer are here so because we were in Dubai, we worked with, um, I don't know if you know them, it's like big rapper in France, like Lacrim, Lacrim. I'm no, sure. no, no. He do, I'm, featuring I'm with 6 ix 9 so maybe you oh, know. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, God, yeah. But yeah, we worked with big uh, rapper in France uh, because we were in Dubai and yeah. because we were the only one in Dubai. Uh, maybe Booba, do you know Booba? No? I think... So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's okay, it's okay. Um, so yeah. It's more for the people that we come here, um, and I already la have like the mindset who was you know unlock uh, mm -hmm. before I come here. But here it's created a lot of opportunities for every agency owner. You just have to go in the, in the meeting, uh, yeah. in a lunch with someone who have a business, and you can sell your product. And you have a lot of like mastermind thing like this here. Mm. And when you are uh, agency. You need to be in this mastermind because you can sell your product to everyone. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty, pretty big. And yeah, it's because I have friends here. Um, but you know, I'm here like six months per year, maybe less. <laughs> For the no tax. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, after I just go around the world. Amazing. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. So what, like you just travel pretty much. Yeah, just travel. But last month I was in Cape Town, oh, in nice. South Africa. Yeah. And maybe this summer I go to Bali. Hmm. I'll, I'll meet you there. Yeah. <laughs> I want nice. To go. Nice. And uh, yeah. So amazing. Is it like? I mean, are you like constantly still taking courses? Are you constantly still like reading books? Like, what sort yep. of stuff? Do you, do you read a lot of books? Yep. Um, I'm not a very huge re reader, mm -hmm. but uh, I read books. You know, because you don't need to to read a lot of books, but you need to read the good one. Yeah. And everyone like. Um, like you, you're gonna have a special book. It's gonna be a different book for for you and for me. Yeah. It depends in how stage on the business you are. Yeah. But for me, the best book to read when you are a beginner, it's Pr Principle by Ray Dalio. I don't yeah. know if you know this. Yeah, I think who is it that recommended this? Arslan. Arslan recommended. Yeah, I've okay. heard a lot about this book. Yeah. I need, I need yeah. to read it. So if you're a beginner, it's a best book you can read mm -hmm. because um, it's around all the principles like the basic stuff to have a big vision um, to um, just uh, create a team uh, manage a business and after that it depends the business uh, you are uh, you have uh, you can run to more uh, biggest uh, book yeah for sure i mean it seems like that book must get like your mindset set then from yeah. the start like that's that sort of shape your mindset yeah for yeah, sure. and after uh, yeah, I take courses, online courses on the English market now because yeah. I try to work my English. Yeah, yeah. No, your English is good. <laughs> and yeah, uh, yeah, I took like the last courses I took was the Iman Gaji course, mm -hmm. yeah. but yeah. it was like in December. But um, yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, so what's obviously your agency right now? You're at a pretty good level. Um, I mean, like, how's it? Is most of it retainers then, or is there like one-offs? So obviously, you said you do like music videos. 
<laughs> no, it was not it. music video. Oh, really? Oh, really? Actually, it was like a um, strategy to have more customer for a new album. Oh, oh really? Yeah. So kind of like so marketing. Like, yeah, we do like a vlog session with oh, this rapper, okay, like see. four episodes, I think. We were with him like 20 days and we uh, like do a, like, a, you know, a web series um, yeah. for the launch of his album. That's oh, it. Okay. So yeah, we follow him in like his daily routine, how he made sounds, how he make music, oh, yeah. like this, and in the showcase. Yeah, yeah. So it seems like you are the agency in yeah. France then to go to. You know, <laughs> for, for, for Thanks. <laughs> I hope so. But yeah, so everyone like it depends the business, the goals, but we help them to achieve like more customer. Mm-hmm. At the at the end, it's that the goal. Did, did you know that obviously like let's say two years ago right she started like uh, a year and a half ago say like two years ago did you know like that in two years time you'd be like here this sort of level that you're at now bro <laughs> if you said me two years ago i will be working with lacrim booba because in france is they are the yeah, top yeah, yeah, yeah. like they have millions Shit. followers thing like this i was i will just say fuck no <laughs> because like two years ago i was making video for restaurants or yeah. thing like this and the powerful of the um, people you are with is very strong. Mm, like, yeah. I think is one of the biggest assets in the business is who use who um, is to develop your skill to sell something yeah. and the um, people you are with. Definitely. I think if you have these two things, you can sell everything and you can go like the biggest. Hundred uh, percent. I mean, I, I kind of want to circle back and find out how you actually got to this level like from from the ground up obviously you said that you got your first um client from like just reaching out i guess like how did you actually build up to where you are now mm-hmm. okay so first you know like the story as i said you with the group yeah uh, it was like an infopreneur so i just edited a video with for him like during one year and after that i booked my first camera and I say to him, man, now I can shoot your video. So I go with him to shoot her, his video. And I, I say like, man, I can do all the YouTube process now. Mm. So I can go in your city. I can say um, like, this is the subject. You talk about the subject. And after I edit it, I upload it. And I do all the marketing about it. I do thumbnail, everything. Yeah. And he say, okay, let's go. And after that, I just do like pretty bad outbound marketing. Like I send mail to everyone, mm. every infopreneur in the market, but it was pretty Sick. bad. It was just like, hey, I do YouTube uh, video. I can edit your video. Come. Yeah, <laughs> it was yeah, just yeah, this. Yeah. So um, yeah, I do this and because I work with one, two, three infopreneur. And I said like I in the mail, I work with him, him, him. Just because it's a pretty small market, yeah. they uh, send a message to the to my customer and said, oh, how is uh, Cedric? Is mm-hmm. working good? Thing like this. And with that, I have like more cl- customer. And like when I was alone, like freelancer, yeah. um, like three or four months after I quit my job, I was making like 10K or 15K per month, uh, just doing edi- edit video yeah. and I was alone. And yeah. um, after that, I met like our artistic director now um so he was making the same thing but with other customer on the same market but he he has just the vision like edition video production mm-hmm. and me i have all the marketing vision so we say man we are on the same market you have capacities um like they that are higher than me for all the artistic process me i can manage i can uh, do all the marketing stuff let's create a big uh, business together so we create a business together like one one year and a half ago, it was in February 2021. Mm. And actually, I put the the company in UK, in really? London. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so um, we so created the company in UK. Opened it in the UK. Yeah. Oh, Taxes. And then, <laughs> yeah, but in France it's pretty big. Really? Yeah. As well. In France, oh, like 40 percent on the benefit. On on, uh, on business tax. Yeah. Whew, so the UK is actually better. Yeah. <laughs> UK, they yeah. say me like nine, 19%. Okay, it's good. Cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so we opened in, in the UK because I was in this place at this time. And because of the powerful of our two um, like customer um, package, mm. like it just makes because we create like a brand 
with uh, the agency like Numadeo. I don't tell the name, but it's Numadeo, N-U-M-A-D-E-O. Um, and we create a brand, we create a landing page, we create um, all this stuff, like pretty basic thing, like an Instagram thing like this. You gave it like an identity. Yeah, an identity, exactly. And um, after that, every month, like customer, 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 yeah, customer. Yeah. So like in the same time, I was, like I said before, hiring people like, um, yeah. And in, I think since February, 2021 to um, like April or June, we are, ma we are making like more than 50K per month. Amazing. And um, after that, I hired the first like um, headquarter people like uh, project manager yeah. in August. And it was like a very good, very, very good uh, hirement because before that I was doing all the um, operational thing, like manage uh, customer in the WhatsApp group mm. and uh, thing like this. Seeing the editor, uh, where's the video? Is it good? Uh, thing like this. Mm. So when the project manager comes, he do everything for us. Like, uh, man, it's like a beautiful for you. Yeah, a big, big uh, like wait yeah. out. So um, after that, um, we begin to hire. Um, um, no, after that, it was just a vision about the CRM. Yeah. So because one of our competitor on the French market, but would just do edition video, made this. So we said, hey, let's create ours too. So we could be past his, um, his solution, but really accept for marketing, not for just editing video. Yeah. And so we developed this, like it's take, it took like six months mm -hmm. and I had the final version like one month ago. And uh, now we open it for a customer, for editor, and let's go. Sick. Sick, sick. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, a lot of people do editing. A lot of people do like, you know, hit mm -hmm. YouTube stuff here and there, like freelance. But yeah. you actually, you know, sort of decide to take that next step. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, I, I feel like, just don't really take that next step to like actually make an agency and then set mm. themselves as the industry leader. Um, and that's what I like that you've done, you know, it seems like. I mean, that's kind of the way to go. That's how you can, you know, hit these like big months, you know, which yeah. obviously there's only so much you can do as a freelancer doing it on your own. And yeah. um, I guess making that decision to like actually get a team, you know, so you can take on more clients mm. instead of literally just sitting, being comfortable. Like, I don't know, whatever it was, you said it was like five, 10, 10 came up, right? Like yeah. just with your own capacity, was, was that great? Yeah. 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 Um, can you repeat the last question? Is yeah, what, yeah, it was yeah. a question or uh, no, it's, no? it's pretty okay. much uh, an observation. <laughs> okay, okay, nice. <laughs> nice. And what I didn't tell, it's like you was you were with Kelly like uh, I don't know yeah, many days ago, like and I worked for him. Like when I quit my job, I worked for for him to edit oh, really? his video because he was running like the same agency, but he has only like one, two, or three customers. Mm -hmm. And after that, he goes in YouTube ads and crypto. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so. I took his business and he said, always, he said to me, you put my business, my business, you put it on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so literally just off camera just then, like he showed us a video of like um, the whole setup that you had for like um, one of Yomi's like latest videos, the, the podcast was it? Yeah, really one podcast with Yomi. I don't know if you know, but I think you don't know it, but uh, some permission. It's uh, without permission in English, oh, the name okay. of the podcast. Okay. And so. is it is with like Usama Amar. It's mm. like uh, one of the biggest um, startup entrepreneur in yeah. France. I think, I think I've heard of him. I think I like have he, heard of him. Like. He was making like advice to startup, but now we don't make it anymore. But uh, so, yeah. And yeah, we do like a huge podcast with eight cameras Jeez. and things like this. So it's a bit better than this setup. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> a little, little bootleg setup yeah, we've got here. It does the job, I guess, literally in Dubai. Like we just, I don't even know what's going on. There's... A little light there from the Airbnb. <laughs> yeah, forty-four on the TV that we've like. <laughs> we we, we know it's forty-four, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> literally. Um, but yeah, I mean that that sort of shows, I guess, all the the work that goes into these big like video. I mean, it's just a, literally like a YouTube video, right, or like a podcast. Yeah, but like there's so much work that goes into it. Which yeah, is kind yeah. Of crazy. Because like I said before, we do like all the production video, like because for our customer, we want her, we want them to have no worries. Like mm. they just sit and they go. Yeah. They don't have to worry about the cameras, things oh. like this. No, we yeah. do everything. That must be beautiful because I hate worrying about all this sort of stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But no, I feel like obviously that's how they can take it to the next level as well. Mm -hmm. Obviously you said like it's, it's it's so much easier for them and then they also get more customers, you know, which is pretty important. Yeah, yeah, because we care about all the production, all the strategy, all the process. And we just say to them like, 
you're gonna get more view, yeah. more, more subscriber. Just focus on how you're gonna deliver all these subscribers. Is, is that how you <laughs> kind of like like close the deal, pretty much? Like, do you have like any like first month like offer? Is no, we we have like we never had engagement because we uh, have a vision that we need to have. We, we need to be happy to work with our customers. Yeah. So mm. we, if we want to break the contract, we can do it every time, and he can he can do it every time. But we can, we just do we just do engagements when it's like uh, they want to reduce on the price. So we said okay, but it's like six months or one year, and yeah, it's just like I said, a, f um, a fixed fees per month, uh, and it depends on what you put in the make in the package. Mm. Like if you want like a script it's gonna be higher if you yeah. want like um um actor thing like this it's <laughs> gonna be higher if you want like all the production once a month yeah. it's gonna be higher etc etc how long does like an edit for one of them videos take like for example that that yummy one the other day like how long would that edit take for the podcast yeah like um for this podcast it's not just like uh we go in and it's uh yeah. just they just talk and we do cuts we do like all a teaser Mm. Um, all um, like um, branding stuff like they have a very good um, unique branding and every time there is like an important information we put something on the screen and yeah. sound yeah. effect thing like this so for this one I think it's gonna be like six hour mm. um, but uh, for like classic YouTube video like seven advice to uh, build a yeah, real estate yeah, thing yeah. like this the secrets like, between uh, e-commerce yeah, yeah or e-commerce or seven uh, advice for dropshipping mm. it's like less than uh, three hours okay all right that's pretty good like for for our editor team we have like um type of video like zero a b c mm. like a it's less than three hour b it's less than five or six hour c is less than one day and d is like uh very good very big project yeah and in this range they get paid for um, like every range it's more right mm. right so yeah and like i said with the system of um of a level xp like every um every video abc it's like more xp okay to get to the next level that's quite that's kind of smart i guess that helps with your like company culture and like, yeah a lot and editors don't don't want to leave yeah, yeah, like I said, uh, you need to be in the mind of the person you're hiring, and all these editor people love like the uh, pop culture, love the gaming stuff, and yeah. like this. So, like, they had the purpose to go in the next level and just achieve like more levels, and That's they right. do what they love, like editing video. So you mix yeah. everything create this and like do a very good manager system definitely yeah i mean i actually like what you said about the whole high press like we find them find yeah. them through like discord and stuff that's so smart instead of like yeah, yeah. linkedin or like indeed or like i don't know like because these are people who are probably you know i mean they've, they've got experience they're, they're really into like like the whole like i don't know like gaming culture as you said yeah a lot yeah and that's that's where like the nerds are you know mm -hmm. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah and you know um we need to have like very good people in uh capac and capacities yeah. in edition video and like people who do video edition for the video game um influencer like they are at a very high level they do like they they rush literally a 12 hour live yeah. to a, a best of very huge with a lot of animation like this and you put this man in a infopreneur man who just do seven uh, advice to, mm. to drop string and they do the same level of editing oh yeah it's going crazy mm. <laughs> i mean one thing that i want to get into is like your opinion on uh tiktok and, yeah. and where that is like do you guys offer that as a service like no we only focus on uh youtube um but we do like edition um package just for reels or tiktok we yeah. have like two or three customer who needs this so we only edit it but you, we don't do uh, like all the strategy and the yeah. management so um, i think it's a pretty huge um, social media to like have a lot of um, people who are fan of you because like the algorithm goes very very high very yeah. fast yeah. you just need to create some content follow what works and put it at your um, at your uh, business um, type like for us, we're gonna create an inbound strategy, and we put we get we take all the um, trends, the big trends like on the mass market, and we adapt it to the video making uh, uh, stuff. Okay. And like this, we get like 200, 300k view. Yeah. Just uh, just to copy past. <laughs> really? I mean, yeah. is this kind of like your plan, obviously, to get new customers in? But like, 
So how exactly are you plan on getting like these new customers in? Obviously, you said you're trying to like scale up. Um, are you guys going to be doing like like cold outreach? Are you guys going to be producing content yourself? Like, what's sort of like the plan with that? Yeah. So um, in that with acquisition, it's like a lot of outbound because um, for all markets, you know, seventy percent already all know us. So the thirty percent is like pretty small. Mm. So we need to have a very personalized approach for everyone. Uh, we we're gonna outbound. Yeah. So it's like it takes more times than than just you know shoot a lot of DM uh, yeah. about e-commerce yeah, brand yeah, or yeah, thing yeah. like this. But um, we have a lot of big results with this, so it's very good. And this this is what I would say. Like surely it must be so easy to get a client now compared to obviously before with all these like results and like testimonials that you have. Yeah. And you work with some of the biggest people. You know, it's kind of like a no-brainer. Obviously, yeah. if someone needs the service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very good. We have a lot of um, people who work with us, and I don't tell about our customer, but like a lot have more than 100k subscriber on yeah, YouTube, yeah. and so it's very good. And we have testimonial of them who said, "Yeah, Numado is very good." So it's pretty easy to close someone when he already know us, but when he don't know us, it's a little bit harder. But it's okay. I mean, like, what what's the churn rate with these kind of clients as well? I'm I'm sure they 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 stay on for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the um, they stay like for um, four or five months. It depends. And why they quit? It's not because we're doing bad uh, bad strategy, bad works. It's because they internalize the um, the com- the, um, the, the processes. Yeah, they internalize the um, capacities. Like they oh, yeah. hire someone to get in house. Yeah, in house in his in his own company. So with this, like we just after that, it's another product. We like uh, sell courses to teach them to do it. Mm-hmm. Like we have a coaching program for editor thing like okay. this, and um, with this, just uh, just can do what we do by themselves, and it's like. Um, obviously, it's less. Uh, uh, they pay less. Yeah. So, yeah. That's smart. It's like you you sort of scaled at the very start. You sort of got the name with just like one main offer, and then now, like at the level you're at, where you've got clients and there's you know sort of more opportunities, you can kind of offer them little you know things on the side here and yeah. there to sort of help them. Obviously, so you do like clips for like reels, all that type of stuff. That's like one little thing. And you have this whole like mentoring thing, I guess, like coaching thing as well to sort of allow them to do it if they want to do it on their own. Like, I don't know, I like that, I like that, obviously. But also, I guess at the start, it is key to just have one offer. Mm. Right? It seems like you did. And then, obviously, you know, at scale is when you can literally just have them, like, little things yeah. on the side as well. Yeah, one mistake that made every uh, beginner in the business, uh, they do everything. And yeah. I made it too, mm. because yeah. when I was freelancer, I was doing, like, landing page, I was doing uh, <laughs> thumbnail, graphics, community management, I was doing everything. Yeah. But at the end, I just focused on one product. It was the YouTube uh, YouTube strategy. And I focus on this, and after that, the customer will tell, oh, we need this, we need this. And after that, you, you can create other offer, yeah. like the coaching program for um, editor, like um, we don't, what we don't. We don't like photo shoots, and we didn't do before, uh, thing like this. Amazing. Yeah, awesome. So I guess I want to sort of flip back to like the very start. Like yeah. Back, back in the day, when obviously you're a lot younger, did you always like have that entrepreneur sort of mindset and did you always want to go into business? Obviously you said that, you know, you, you sort of studied it as well, but like, and you had a job, but before that, did you know that mm. like you sort of wanted to do something in business? Um, I think I didn't know, you know, all my family aren't entrepreneur. Yeah. They are like uh, pretty uh, middle range uh, salaries. And um, I was very shy uh, when I was a kid, like between like five years old and... I think 18 years old, I was very shy. And after that, because I was in um, in a program, a dual system program in school, you know, with uh, work and school. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. And something like So um, I was like, like my job was to, you know, do cold calling. Mm. And <laughs> you tell that to a man who uh, like, um, have not no courage to take an appointment with the hairstyle yeah no. really <laughs> so it was like okay <laughs> yeah Jesus. so during two years i just was making like cold cold calling and this like unlocked me yeah uh, the process and i wasn't shy after that um and in the um, 
in parallel with that, I was, like I said, in bodybuilding and this gives me a lot of trust about myself. So, um, yeah, so I didn't want to get entrepreneur this time, but because I was making cold calling and I didn't like what I was doing during the day, I was looking in YouTube, you know, like, uh, what can I do? So I was looking like for dropshipping, mm. I was looking for a uh, um, mindset uh, video, thing like this. And I was like, man, it's cool. And But I didn't know what I will want to do because yeah. I have no special capacities. Um, I was just a normal student. And like I said, uh, the story for the editor, um, I began to edit video and after just the road uh, scratch uh, in front of me and I followed the road and that's it. But I wasn't like an entrepreneur. Uh, like I was the man who um, was like middle range in school, like 12. Um, I was the man who was middle range in like soccer, thing like this. Mm. I wasn't the best in every aspect mm. in my life but it's, it's interesting to hear that you did the whole like cold calling thing yeah like at the start that must have been like like very difficult Man, i'm sure <laughs> like the first day i remember the first day i go in the um, corporate like uh, quarter uh, i meet the director he said this is your desk you have a phone you have a excel you have a list of customer you call them you sell this <laughs> i was made okay <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it was pretty hard times because I was not happy at this time. Yeah. But you know, because I wasn't happy, um, I developed other skill. I learned. I uh, I buy some courses, and after these two years, I was like a new human. Mm. Yeah. No, that's sick. That's so sick. maybe sometimes you need to get very bad times. Yeah. yeah to get very higher. Oh, 100 percent I feel like it's just it's just all part of the process, you know. It's, yeah. it's a journey, and yeah. I guess you're still ooh, at, like the start of it, you know. Like yeah. obviously, yeah, you, you, your agency is like doing like crazy stuff already. But mm-hmm. imagine in like 10 years time, yeah, yeah. Like, that's 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 gonna be incredible. Yeah, I hope so. We're yeah. gonna try to make it. But yeah. yeah, imagine if I find another job like five years ago, and it was a job like very chill, uh, behind a computer, yeah. just doing things. Maybe I'd, I will not be here. You'd just be in your comfort zone. Yeah. You know, but yeah, there's, exactly. there's no progress which is made in your comfort zone. It's all just about stepping outside, doing stuff yeah. that will sort of make your heart like, you know what I mean? Pump, like literally all that type of thing, you know? Um, that's yeah, what I like to hear. For sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I literally, I, I did the same thing. I did cold calling, you know, back in the mm-hmm. day, but not for a job, literally just for my, for my old agency okay. back in the day. It, it wasn't the best, hard, it wasn't no? the best way of getting yeah. clients in, definitely. <laughs> it's very hard. But it's character building. Yeah, yeah, a lot. Yeah, I feel like sales as well, having that sort of skill of sales mm-hmm. in anything is pretty key. Yeah, 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 the sales competence is the key. Yeah. You know, if you can sell like, um, you know, uh, windows to a normal human, yeah. Yeah. you go in front of his door, you know, did you know the um, series on Netflix, White, uh, White Gold? Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Very yeah. good. Huh? Yeah, it's good. So it's all the pro- that process about selling. Mm. And yeah, if you know how to sell, you can do everything. Yeah, yeah, that kind of unlocks like a lot in your life, really. Yeah. I feel like there's a few core skills. Sales is one of them. And kind of, um, I mean, that's, that's probably one of the, the main core ones. Yeah. But I guess I'm trying to think what the other yeah. one would be. Um, maybe just knowing a little bit of marketing, maybe. Um, so mm. you can just start. Just but. know what your competence are. I, I said like in the agency sphere, the mm. agency circle. If you want to run an agency, you just have to learn a complete, um, an abilities like uh, coding, edit video, um, ads, thing like yeah. this, yeah. and after we just had to sell it yeah, because yeah. there is like so many potential clients in the world, uh, in the English market a lot. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, I kind of want to finish up on like one piece of advice you would give your younger self, like maybe someone that's watching that's like yeah. fifteen, sixteen that are trying to get to where you're at now. What What would you say to them? It's pretty hard question. Yeah. I wasn't I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> um, for me, if this peop, if this man or this woman just watching this podcast, he's already in the good way because he knows that he wants to do another thing in his life. And I think you just have to trust the process. Just think outside the box 
because um, you're normal. It's okay to want to run a business and it's like you can achieve what you want. You can achieve 10k per month. Maybe some people it's very high, but for other people it's very low. Yeah. You know, a bad month for someone it's 10k, a good month for someone it's 10k. Yeah. But you can do it. And for me, you just have to follow the process. There is a lot, lot of stuff, free stuff in on the internet if you don't have the money to buy courses. And with all the stuff in uh, in the social media, YouTube, thing like this, you can like build capacities to help other people and sell your uh, your product like just you tap uh, facebook ads uh, learn courses mm. you have a courses and you can run facebook ads for the local uh, restaurants yeah. or thing like this and you can make like 100 or 200 bucks per month just, yeah just with this so it's pretty easy now to do money but the like the things you need to know about, to think about is what do you really want to do in your life? Mm -hmm. um, like you can do like agency or dropshipping, but at the end of the day, it's what makes you happy, yeah. what really matter. And what do you really want to do? Do you really want to, do you want to build a, a personal brand to, to sell courses? Do you want to build like a corporate business? Yes, I want to have 10 restaurants. Or do you want to build like a, e-commerce business because you just want to travel all around the world yeah it's just like take a day think about what you want what you want in five years 10 years 20 20 years what you want for your families what you want for your kids uh, what you want to achieve like in this day uh, business business uh, goals or personal goals and with all this stuff you have a vision to see okay i can go in this business this business this business and this business i will be happy to do it like all the day that so was, i was, think the yeah just have the vision about what really makes you happy mm -hmm. because nowadays it's very easy to make money online yeah 100 i feel like that was a really good answer <laughs> yeah. to my question you know you, uh, you did well you put you on the spot but, but you did well with that amazing um brother really appreciate you coming on thank, thank you, very you very much, much. i know, I know it's very it's, very it's, good it's a little bit early you know what i mean it's yeah. a nice early morning podcast <laughs> sort of getting out of the way it's amazing um yeah, thank you very much. And it's, it's been a pleasure to meet you as well. I'm sure we're yeah. going to sort of meet up soon. Pleasure uh, shared. And um, if you need to launch a YouTube channel, just hit me a message. 100%. 100%. <laughs> you already know. 100%. Um, but yeah, thank you, man. And guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. W w what should they do to, uh, to, for, the, for the podcast to do better? You, you know, you know oh, more than you one advice about for us. your podcast. Uh, I didn't saw it on YouTube, mm. so I don't know. But um, I think like you can do short teaser about yeah. like mm. very gold nuggets of the podcast and put it on other me social media mm. uh, to tease everybody to go watch on uh, YouTube. Amazing. Right. Okay, Sweet. guys, we're, we're gonna take that advice. <laughs> you'll, you'll see that soon. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all of that, whatever. Um, and yeah, we're gonna see you next episode. Next episode of the Forty Four Podcast. Peace. <laughs>